Hello, I'm Enzo, and today I'll be playing more Auction Not Included. So, in today's episode, I start out with, well, starting the industrial brick. Now, it's been insulated and everything, but it's still filled with oxygen and carbon dioxide and nasty gases. So, we're going to vacuum it out. I also open up the water geyser so we can start filling it with water and steam. The steam also helps to preheat the whole industrial sauna or industrial brick, whichever you prefer. And I got a little blob of carbon dioxide. Just build a block to fix it. Important thing about kilns, you have to use ceramic piping or obsidian or insulation, but you have to run the glass out immediately like this so that it doesn't crack in the pipes. I figured out how to use these later, but I used these liquid meters to actually filter out 800 kilograms of petroleum to use in my metal refineries. Really useful thing. This is the giant cooling loop I needed to build to cool all my steam turbines up at the top. I don't know if I showed this off yet, but this is my giant food storage area up in space. I used the cool regolith to keep everything cool. And this was pretty interesting. I found a new mutant seed. Uh, it's kind of stuck in this cold biome, but I'll get it sometime. Just pretty cool to see. This is the first time it's happened for me. I also had a bit of an auction crisis. This is me trying to fix it. I'm just gonna use the water that fuels them to actually cool the electrolyzers. And since hydrogen flows up, I'm putting the oxygen pumps at the bottom. And we're using polluted water because it has a higher specific heat capacity, meaning it cools better. And, uh, Yami, how, how did you do this? Seriously? Honestly, I don't even know how this is possible. It's just oxygen not included. I'm building a giant insulated pipeline into space. I'm doing this because this is the most efficient design so that gases travel the least distance. I'm building this so I can hook it up to our new plastic presses so we can vent all the carbon dioxide out into space. This is a partially functioning industrial sauna. The metal refinery is used to heat the water at the bottom into steam. And we get a new duplicate. 
This one's name is Mall. They have a bunch of agriculture and a bunch of other cool bonuses. fuel our new plastic presses, we actually need more petroleum. And I decided to build a specialized room for petroleum so that we could also take the natural gas that we get from the refineries and reuse it. On the second planetoid, now that we have Atmos suits, I'm just planning to block off the top of the map so we don't let any gases escape. I'm going to use the natural gas we get both from the geyser next to the refinery and from the oil refineries themselves. Conveniently, I have an output for the carbon dioxide. I'm trying to start space here, but I don't really start space for a long time. I'm just kind of seeing what works and what doesn't. We have another duplicate. We named this one Nemesis. They're going to be one of our rocket pilots. They also have a bunch of machinery. Also give them a little gym to work in. This just increases their athletics so that they can run faster. So the time between these clips was actually a long time. I stopped playing for a little bit, but then I started playing again. And when I started again, I had a genius idea for a new mega base. Much bigger, and I incorporate the natural gas geyser way later on. And we get another new duplicate. Same upsides as the last one, and not terrible downsides. Their name is going to be Rin. On the second planetoid, I'm adding a bunch of solar panels because, well, we have power issues here, and this is a great solution to it. You can use gas cargo modules to hold stupid amounts of gas. I know it might not be right, but it's kind of broken, so I'm going to use it. And it's really useful either way. And I know this one was a bit shorter, but this is a ridiculous amount of gameplay time condensed into this. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. This is Enzo from Look Into Gaming, signing out.